I don't want to see zucchini in my fridge ever again. <laughs> Hey you guys, my name is Ellery. I am the health adventure. If you guys already follow my channel, um, this is not news. This is something that has happened many times. I was having these weird issues with my hands where they would just close up on me, particularly like in the middle of the night. And I wake up and all of a sudden like my hands would be shut and I'd be like, what's going on? Pretty, pretty scary. So what I noticed is after going to a raw vegan diet, I didn't have that problem anymore. I have been eating fruit basically for the last three months, nothing but fruit, and it's been awesome, except for my teeth. So I started incorporating some other foods into my diet again, experimenting. I tried some sushi, I tried some, uh, some raw dairy, and both of those kind of just made my wrists a little bit sore, and, and the dairy was definitely worse than the sushi. Um, but both of them have a little bit of a reaction. So I was like, hey, you know, maybe my gut is a little bit healed up. Maybe I can handle some raw vegetables now. So I was like, all right, I'm going to have some zucchini pasta um, with some, you know, some tomato sauce over it. So all raw stuff, right? And in the middle of the night, I should have had pizza instead. I don't know. That might have caused a problem too. Basically what happened was I, in the middle of the night, I woke up and my hands were just completely shut. It was really extreme. My hands were really sore yesterday. I was just like, I am freaking done with raw vegetables. Every time, it always gets my hands. I, they always close up on me. I have problems. Fruit, definitely, my body does like the fruit. So the way that I'm looking at it now, you know, and I kind of was looking at it like this before, but I thought I would try to balance things out a little bit more, is that I can get my teeth fixed, you know, I can get cavities filled, even if I have to one day get implants or whatever I have to do with my teeth. To me, it's not as big of a deal as my hands not working. Not to mention, it does affect my energy if I have these issues. It kind of goes together. And it could totally be related to something like candida or whatever um, it seems that there's like inflammation that happens like in my wrist area and I definitely have had a lot of issues with like tendonitis in those areas so it's just sensitive um, but I definitely can't handle the raw vegetables and I know there's raw vegans out there like John Kohler saying you know like vegetables are really where it's at or, like you know and I, I really kind of I have to say at this point at least for myself I disagree. <laughs> Although, I have to say, the vegetable powders do not affect me. But, I mean, <laughs> I was avoiding fruit for a couple of days, and guys, it was so painful. Like, I was just like, oh, I wanted fruit so bad. And when I had fruit again, it was just divine. So, and my teeth seemed to be okay the last couple of days, but I'm sure, you know, if I continue to eat a lot of fruit, um, it, it could definitely do some damage. So, I actually have an appointment with my dentist tomorrow. I'm gonna get some things checked out. I was maybe curious though, because the powders were something that do work for me, I was thinking of um, getting a dehydrator and dehydrating the vegetables and seeing if, if doing some of that would be okay for me. But at the same time, because I just had this happen yesterday, I just wanna stay away even from the, de like I don't wanna try dehydrated vegetables or anything new. I do still have some um, fermented, like I actually bought like a case of um, sauerkraut from Air One and it was way overpriced. <laughs> um, I actually I wanted to make some myself but it takes a little bit of time to make because the sauerkraut actually seemed to be okay for some reason so I think maybe just whatever it is you know if, if it's anti-nutrients I think I read somewhere that um, fermented vegetables actually there's no anti-nutrients left. Um, I don't know if that's true I only read that from one source but it's definitely possible I didn't really seem to have too much of a reaction to it, so that's something I may incorporate back into my diet at some point. Um, but again, just to be safe, at least for my hands right now, I'm just sticking pretty much to fruit. I've been doing a little bit of some avocado, some coconut, um, you know, and probably more than I actually really want to, again, because I'm still trying to balance out with, the, with my teeth. The avocado and coconut doesn't really affect my hands so much, but it, it's harder to digest. Like, it just, it doesn't feel as good. Um, so I definitely feel better and lighter on fruit. But, um, if I'm gonna do something different other than fruit, other than avocado, other than coconut, it seems like sushi was not that bad but I still wouldn't really want to do it very often if at all I'm not really sure maybe every couple of months maybe once a month at the most 
Um, it's just it it does still cause some uh, some tendonitis, like burning, you know, inflammation. The dairy was second. Um, that caused a little bit more problems. Um, it felt more painful, and then obviously the raw vegetables were just insane. And I also will still maybe try some, like I was saying, the dehydrated vegetables and uh, the sauerkraut. So um, I did actually, I wanted to mention, I did do a pH a strip of my, my saliva. That was something that uh, Mark James, well, I think he, he, he just said watch the pH of your mouth. Um, Mark James Gordon, he had mentioned that. He's on YouTube, you can check him out. Um, and I, I tested the pH of my mouth and it was at about a 6.5. And I think kids, actually, their pH is higher. It's at around a 7.5, and adults tend to be at about a 6.5. So if that doesn't say anything about our diet, our environment, I, you know, that's, I think that says a lot, actually. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if, if, you know, just over time, just the exposure to toxin, toxins and that sort of thing, that starts getting your body really acidic. So uh, mine was at actually about a 6.5, so I probably could be a little bit higher. Um, but, you know, it's still, the, our fruit is very acidic, especially because it a lot of times is picked unripe. So it would be nice if I maybe was able to grow my own fruit or something like that, and it would probably actually be less acidic. Um, but, you know, there's still a lot of sugar and things like that passing my teeth. So the thing is, the other day, I mean, I was kind of stressed a little bit with my hands being paralyzed, pretty much. Um, but I, because I have gone through the detox process enough, I, I know that if I eat the right things, that my hands will come back. <laughs> so even though like it was really, really frustrating that that happened, I was like, okay, <laughs> you know, I know that this is going to just, this will pass within a day or two, like this is going to get better. And usually when it happens, it's not like it stayed like that for a very, very long time. It probably stayed that way, I want to say, for maybe five, ten minutes, maybe fifteen. I'm not really sure. It was in the middle of the night, so it was kind of hard. You know, I was really, really sleepy. So it's hard to really uh, monitor time, but it stayed that way for about maybe fifteen minutes or so. And it started slowly, you know, to undo itself a little bit. So, and at the same time, I should also mention, I felt a lot of, like, movement throughout my body. Um, so it seemed like it could have been related to maybe candida or something like that as well. Um, I still have some of these issues, like I, like on my, my toes, I got some fungus and things like that. And actually, I didn't mention this, um, when I did the bone broth, I think I actually had some come out through my, my fingernails, some of the uh, some of that fungus. But then when I, the next day when I cleansed a little bit, then it got better. Um, so that was just an interesting thing that I had noticed about the bone broth. Um, so, but yeah, it seems like I still have some candida issues, so I'm trying to be a little bit more conscientious, too, about making sure I take my antifungals, because that could have a lot to do with it. Um, but, you know, it, I'm sure leaky gut could be part of it. You know, there's a lot of things that, that it could be, and I could do a whole bunch of tests and, you know, get everything figured out. Um, but, you know, the reality is, when I eat fruit, I'm good. If I eat other things... You know, besides avocado and coconut, those are kind of like okay, uh, but other thing, anything other than that tends to cause a problem for me. So I'm just sticking with what my body is reacting to and what it's not. And I'm just keeping it super simple, you know, like because I could spend a whole bunch of money going to all these different doctors and trying, you know, get all this, get this test, get that test, whatever. But the reality is, the fruit is what my body seems to be responding to and everything else it doesn't really want at least right now so that's that's what's going on so I'm just I'm just doing as much as possible just listening to my body and just using my own intuition so that's how I'm doing it but um, I probably won't be doing uh, raw vegetables probably ever again anyways thank you guys for watching um, I'll keep you guys posted as always on everything that's going on I'll let you know how my dentist appointment goes tomorrow too I'm sure you guys are curious. So anyways, you can give me a follow if you want to keep along with my journey with the health adventure. And you can check out my website, thehealthadventure.com. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye-bye.